guys today we'll be looking at how to make api calls with rival pod in flutter and here we have my widget inside my main app don't forget you are using rival pod you have your provider scope and as a child your, your my, my the my app will be the child so i have this here and the home is the user also i've created two pages two folders actually one for the page and one for the services so inside the user dot that we'll be using to consumer widget which is what rival pod uses if you have not watched the introduction to rival pod video i'll leave the link in the description below and without wasting much time let's get started so what we want to do first is to have these two in your prospect.yaml file the flutter rival pod package and the http package also this is the api we will be using we will be using the first name and we'll be calling the first name and the last name so let's get started we're going to our model and create our model the class for the user and now string first name and string last name then we'll make our constructor should be user required required this dot first name and required this dot last name okay after making this make a factory user dot from json so you have factory user dot from json and you have map string and then dynamic where we have map string and dynamic here in our model our class we have string here most times we use dynamic if you are not sure of the response we'll be getting from the api so that's why i'm using dynamic here if you've also not watched how to make api calls in flutter i'll be linking the video in the description below okay and here we'll return user so here first name equals to the first name in the json file and because it's json we have to make sure the spelling here is equals to the spelling in our api so we have json first name and then for the last name too json last name okay and now we are done with the model now to go into our services okay we have a little mistake here good we are done now we are, we'll be moving into our services and this is the first one we'll be having let's go into our provider file and create a class of api service here we have our future future which the future will be get calling from is from this model our user our future user and then get user this will be an asynchronous function async and then we we'll have final response response equals to http so now we need to import our http package which we have here http as http http dot get yuri dot pass and we'll copy our api link here control c and paste it so we have this 
and then wow let's await this actually await this and then we have and then we'll return we'll return user dot from vision isn't the code and then we'll decode the response dot body let me just explain this we are waiting for the response from the api link and then we get the response then we'll decode it into the language that that can understand because the api is in json format okay now we are true but this thing is not error proof we need a way to be able to get our errors so it would be advisable to use a try and catch block so i'll cut this out and use try and catch block inside our try we add inside our try we have this and in our catch we'll throw an exception if there's an error exception e okay we are true with this but before we move on we need to create our provider here we have final api service provider equals to provider and here we have our ref api service okay and let's have our api service here okay we are through with this page then after that we now be looking for a way to call our api here before we continue let me just run the app while the app is running let's continue working here so inside our user here we want to call to make our provider so say final response will be equals to future provider and let me delete this future provider and as you can see it is an asynchronous function so inside here we have final api service equals to api equals to the provider we had have here api service provider api service provider okay what was the error here okay good and then we will return api service dot let me see why well, we have an error here okay so actually we can use this like this we have to watch for changes for response here we have ref dot watch and we're watching the api service provider okay and then we'll get that get user over here so let's just remove this okay after this now we can go into our body inside our body here we have a center widget but before we go into our body let me just create one more provider up here we have final response provider and then we have ref dot watch i'll be watching the provider we declared up there which is the response so you can see many providers you need to watch some of them are suspicious so just to reduce the errors we get 
and yeah we we'll have our child which will be response provider dot win now we'll see different parameters you can see the data you can see the error you can see the loading we'll be using all of this by the way so for the data here be function all this will be functions to, and the error will be taking error and start trace so let's just if there's an error return text with the error as the text error dot string okay and if the provider is loading then it should return a circular progress indicator so now let's move to when we have our data or data first here we have data here and if there is a data we should return a text return text and here we will have data dot first name comma data dot last name so we are true with this let me minimize this and have my emulator beside it let's try to restart and you can see when it is loading we have our progress indicator and we can see the name here let's restart again and to just generate random names for us so guys this is the end if you enjoyed this kind of subscribe to my channel also the source code will be available in the comment section below and don't mind this video being noisy i'm actually recording in a very noisy area and i'll see you in the next lesson guys